Looks like that way. Tell the crew to the front. Somebody's calling me. I'll be back. Sorry about that. Anyway, what I was saying, let's uh, tell the to the front. Short bolts go up on top, the long bolts are what help hold your steering arm on. So make sure and get that back the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, uh, you're going to be going every direction at once. Notice I didn't have to change the spindle. I like that. That means I get to save more money and put it in a fuel tank, which might last me a night. Do not forget your lock washers on this. Do not want this stuff coming off when you're going on the street. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Made the first mistake. Apparently, the one stamped R goes on the driver's side. Check this out. See the bolt hole? There's one bolt that's bigger than the rest. Check that out. That bolt hole's bigger than the hole it's lined up with. So R goes on the driver's side, L goes on the passenger side apparently. Okay, this is the problem with custom stuff. I had it backwards. If you look on there, you can see where it's been against the back plate and where the head of the bolts were. So R does go on the right side. See the width of those two different bolts? They only fit one way. So, I guess that's obvious. Done. Pack the bearings, put the disc on, put the caliper on, and don't forget your brake pads. Multi duty complex high temp grease. Not the best of in the world, but it'll work for as little as I drive this thing. As far as I'm concerned, you can never have too much. Looks like this has fresh grease in it. I mean, I need to do it, really. Go ahead and run the race there. Okay, I went ahead and cleaned the bearing while it was off camera. Got a good pack. Just cutting up the outside to put it in. Alright. Like that should be fine. I got my gloves all greased, I can't get them off. Oops. There we 
There we go. Grease does wonders. This is the biggest damn mess maker I've ever tried to deal with. Now, remember what I said earlier about counting the threads? Let's do that. It's about one full thread off from being where it was. And of course, the wrench I have out here just isn't quite big enough, so there we are. Put your keeper back on. Line up the holes in there. Do not bend the pins on there like the last person did. It works, but it's aggravating. I really need a new cotter pin. Notice that half just broke off. But I'm going to clean up that dust cap and paint it anyway, so I can just get another one and pull it back out when I go to put the dust cap on. Hub is done. It spins. There's no wobble in it. It's good enough. Next, cover. That is really simple. I don't know if I have caliper bolts. Oops. Okay, so I got two bolts. I wonder if I can find that. Guess we'll see. Okay. The parts store can't get the caliper bolts. What is this? However, I found some at Lowe's. For three ninety nine a piece. What the hell? Hillman, come on. It doesn't take cost that much to make these. Seriously. Okay, after aging about four dollar bolts for a while, that aren't even the right size. Okay, I have to cut that in half to make it fit. Come on, Hillman. Time to... Do some custom fab work, I guess. First off, we need to mark how long we need it. I've lost my marker. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to cut it one thread before where I mark, closer to the head. That way 
I know it won't stick through and actually rub on the rotor and wear it out prematurely. Now, time for safety glasses and a cut. Get my nice uh, $40 sub ANSI approved cheap shake glasses. So I'm supposed to be wearing them, but whatever. Also, if you can hear the music in the background, it's just a radio playing in the house. I'm not putting this in the video. Let's cut. Now to clean that up so it'll thread in easy. I'm not clamping down on any threads, I'm just getting out of the vise because it's hotter than shit. Clamp it, clamp it on the head. Now we're not screwing stuff up. <laughs> this goes if you cut it straight, huh? That's a little better. Gotta clean that up. bevel on there and now I'm going to put it back in the vise and I'll go back with a file and get all the burrs out of there and you've got yourself a homemade bolt. And it's still hot as shit. Be careful not to grind your thumb while you're doing this too. That shit blows. Alright. I'm gonna test fit it. Alright, she hears in. And that's how you make a homemade bolt for something that uh, they don't make bolts for anymore. It's about two threads shorter, but I mean, that's plenty. It'll work. Time to do three more, I'll be right back. Okay. So the neighbors decided to start bowing, so it's going to be alive for a while. But, got a bolt made, I actually got a caliper on. I hope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get another socket, but I can at least get them hand started, right?
from doing this, bladder valve goes up top. Hose comes out the bottom. Okay. I've gotten enough bezel on this one, bevel on this one, right there. It's got a half thread on there. If I can just get it to go straight, it'll be all right. Okay, gonna have to touch this one up. Bear it right back. Okay, just need some coaching. It's on there now. The original hose that came out of that was a hex shape and it had a nut that went on there to hold it on the tab. This doesn't have any of that. So it's basically going to be held in place by the brake line. Whatever. Learn from experience on the big truck that don't trust and you get the threads started that they're lined up. I'm going through a whole ordeal on the big truck because I happen to get one cross threaded. Best thing you can do is just get it lined up to where it threads easy and then go from there. As you can see, I'm able to hold the rubber hose with my hand and that's threading in, so shouldn't be cross threaded. it up is done. On the truck that 76 and newer that actually had disc brakes, they had a clip that went in there. But it's not going to work on this truck, so that's just going to have to do. Next up, load your pad. You're done. Well, add fluid, bleed it, your normal brake stuff. I've got a theory to load the pads on this that might make it a little easier. I'm going to try that. And if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. Wheel silencer? All four of these pads are exactly the same, so I guess they're exactly the same.
Wow, that seemed to work pretty good. Okay, being that we made these, we don't want to force them because they will tear up the threads in the new caliper. They won't uh, be as forgiving as the original. Thanks, United States Postal Service. And that's that. Apart from, like I said, add your fluid, bleed your brakes like you're supposed to, and uh, that's it. It's done. I'd say if I knew what I was doing, I could probably have both of them done in the time that I shot this video. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.